we're going next. Jane? Oh, snow. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. It's time for us to welcome a new member of the Morning News family. Bob Surratt will be covering the world of pop culture from a place called Chicago. And for starters, he's got a report fit for a king or some equally important member of royalty. Good morning, Bob. Welcome. Good morning, Jane. Yeah, thanks. It's good to be here, too. And uh, the hours aren't that bad either. At least you miss a rush hour on this shift. You wait and Nin see. <laughs> 1984 has been a healthy year for rock and roll and a really busy year on the concert circuit. The Michael Jackson extravaganza was the toughest act to follow in decades. But this past weekend, I caught another show in Greensboro, North Carolina, that just may beat out the guy with one glove. Wilder than a rock and roll show. More exotic than a bump and grind act. Able to sell whole concert halls in a single day. Look, up on the stage, it's a Jackson. It's a Springsteen. No, it's Prince in concert. Where Michael Mania left off, Prince Demonium just gets going. Prince fans are expected to buy more than $22 million worth of tickets to this concert tour. Only weeks after spending some $63 million to see his summer hit movie, the self-portrait Purple Rain. The film soundtrack has been number one for 16 weeks, and some video stores have closed waiting lists for copies of the video cassette released this week. Why is he so popular? It's wild and sexy. I mean, he's got his own style, and it's great. It's very sweet. Explicitly sexual lyrics and gestures are Prince's trademarks. And although in his current show he puts on more costumes than he took off in past performances, Prince sings of things we can barely mention on TV. While he minces no words about sex, Prince says little about himself. It's known he's 26, Minneapolis born, the son of a black jazz band leader and an Italian singer housewife. A perfectionist, he writes, sings and plays nearly every sound on his records and directs almost every step and special effect in his stage show. Saying his work speaks for itself, Prince has refused interviews since 1981. The Prince souvenir stand is about as close as anyone can get to him these days. Compared to Prince, Michael Jackson is an extrovert. The women on stage with Prince are reclusive too, but we got them to talk after their Greensboro concert. I don't think there's anybody out there that's doing what we're doing or is as powerful as we are. And, I mean, we don't just try to say something, we just say it. And, you know, people, I think, are really ready for that to get to the point. Wendy and Lisa say some critics have missed the point of Purple Rain and confused Prince's explicitness with exploitation. You can really hurt people. None of the women in the film are ornaments, and none of the women in Prince's life are ornaments, and uh, I just want to make that clear to the public. From their positions on stage, it's clear to Wendy and Lisa that the audience is getting Prince's message. You don't look out there and see faces that are looking at you going, yeah, sure, right. You're looking at faces that are going, yes, right. That's great. Is that opinion shared by the older generation? Well, my grandmother, personally, has the poster on her wall and loves the album. My grandmother loves it. Nothing like having a relative critique your work, I always say. Prince is not as raunchy as he was earlier in his career, but he's still no Donny Osmond. And I don't think I'd take my grandmother to the concert. But for fans of good rock and roll, this show is the best of the year. The staging and special effects are better than the Jacksons. And musically, it's as energized and tight as Springsteen. And by the way, if you do go to a Prince concert, don't arrive fashionably late. Because if you do, you'll miss his opening act, Sheila E. Her show out Prince is Prince in the bump and grind department. But it's done with a great sense of humor. And her music, Charles and Jane, is definitely worth getting there early. Bob, how steep are the ticket prices for Prince's tour? It's not as expensive as uh, the Jackson's tour, for example. Here in Chicago, a good example, um, $13 to $17.50. And by the way, another good example of what's going on in this tour in Chicago, he's not here till December 9th. He's playing four shows here. They're already all sold out in an 18,000-seat stadium. 
It's been written that if Michael Jackson's message is all you need is love, then Prince's is all you need is sex. Do you expect him to do as well across the country as the Jacksons did? I think so, possibly even better as this tour gains momentum, gains publicity, and um, I like to compare it to the 60s when the Beatles hit, then you had the bad boys, the Rolling Stones. Well, I guess right now Prince is kind of the bad boy version of Michael Jackson. Bob Surratt, thank you very much, and welcome to the Morning News. Thank you. It's great to be here. <laughs> when we come back, economics reporter Robert Krulwich will look at one way to leave the deficit out in the cold, a federal spending freeze.